It's actually a true story. I've got the paperwork to prove it. So my great uh, granddad used to be a ranger in a local village and stumbles uh, across a wild bear. He thought, you know what, tools down and let's go uh, pound for pound. So he starts blowing with this bear, a couple of right hooks, few jabs. Next thing they start rolling down the mountain and they end up in the middle of the village. He pops it, right shoulder, bear falls down. Um, he's basically the local town hero. Bear goes into captivity for seven days, doesn't like captivity and commits suicide. I don't know if we can put that to air, but I'm telling the story, so, and that's how the story goes. years of my life at least coming every second weekend and there's a, a lot of great memories here it's inbuilt in me it's 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 in the blood people always ask me it's like what does it feel like I couldn't imagine playing anywhere else Preston is for me what I saw in the last 10 15 years in this country one of the biggest club in Australia this is where football grew in this country in the late 70s to form the, obviously the first National Soccer League. Every second Sunday we were here cheering on uh, our beloved team. We used to stand behind the goals there, the cheer squad was there. I remember my brother made a banner, it was probably 20, 30 metres long, mum stitched it together and my father used to stand on the other side of the ground over there. He was the one man cheer squad. Win, lose or draw, rail, hail or shine, it was um, his voice that you'd hear first and then and then the cheer squad would follow soon after so it was um, yeah it's a special place when i hear you know the chant the macedonia chant come up when i hear it it, it really does hit home and it, you know it really does make sort of the hair sort of stand up you know there's a real passion You come out here, you can hear them chanting Macedonia in the crowd. It just gives you that extra lift because we've been brought up that way. All our dads were born in Macedonia. We had interest from Preston. All our parents were just saying go for it because it was a club that they knew about when they first moved here. Preston were a very big club in the NSL, things like that. There's rich history there, there's rich culture and a great footballing culture. It's one of them things you had a group of people coming for a better life from overseas from Macedonia trying to earn some money and essentially go back to Macedonia. That never happened. Dad came late 60s. One of Dad's first mates was actually my wife's uncle. My first cousin married my Dad's best mate's daughter. Renata, my wife, is now second cousins with Silvana. I'm first cousins with the boy that married my uncle's sister. Does that make sense to everyone? Without getting too political about the Macedonian identity, it means a lot for us to stand up for who we are, and we know who we are, we're Macedonian, and that's why we want to come here and play for the biggest Macedonian club in the country. The dream of playing a, a part in the club's history-making day, this season of, of winning a championship and getting promoted happened, and uh, for the biggest Macedonian club in Australia, or, or should I say the biggest Macedonian club outside of Macedonia, that means so much to so many people. After seven, eight years waiting for that championship, finally we, we got it this year. I'm so happy and so proud of this club. I've got a title under my name and it's going to go down in history, you know what I mean? And I can um, you know, hopefully tell my kids and grandkids of what we've done here and what this club actually means to the Macedonian community. I think ethnic clubs have still got a massive part to play. Um, to grow this game in, in Australia. I always say to people, whilst well, our heritage clearly is, is Macedonian and our culture is Macedonian, we embrace everyone who wants to come to this club, who wants to proudly wear our shirt. We've made the club a home for, for you know, people that come from Macedonia. Uh, it's open to anybody, of course, but it, it's, a real, it's a real home away from home.